Hello dear students, I am Dr. Sangram Patil. Today I will be covering aptitude questions on if else C programming. Now for this you must have knowledge of how if else works. Then only we can continue with this topic. So if you are not familiar with if else, please go through first if else in C programming and then we will check the aptitude questions. We will check first question. These are very simple questions. If we look, up, look at the questions, these are very simple questions, but it, these are the tricky questions. Okay. So watch this video carefully. Now this is very simple example, but it is a tricky example. Here we have taken one variable float where we have assigned value 0 0.7 here I have used clear screen but I have not used any other file like conio.h because we save this file as a .c means whatever name if we give a1 then we have to save this a1.c if we save this as a a1.c this clear screen program will be taken from stdio.h if a is equal to 0 0.7 so already we have assigned values 0 0.7 and if you check here 0 0.7 generally we consider here that condition is satisfied and we print s that condition is satisfied but my dear students here we are using a equal to 0 0.7 but this 0 0.7 is considered as double 0 0.7 is considered as a double and here the value which is assigned 0 0.7 that is our float value so compiler try to convert this float value into the double and while converting this into double it would it converts like this something like this okay and our example our equation becomes or statement becomes if 0 0.697 is equal to 0 0.7 which is not satisfied so this will display no it won't go to the else part remember this only now if we have written this statement like if a is equal to 0 0.7 f then this condition will satisfy now this is not satisfying remember this so here condition is not satisfied it will execute no part check the next example a is equal to minus 4 now here if a print f s else print f no Generally, while studying control statement, we study that if condition is satisfied, it will execute if part and if condition is not satisfied, it will execute else part. But now, remember this, if this condition, whatever condition we have mentioned, if this evaluates to 0, evaluates to 0, then it will execute else part remaining all cases it will execute if part now here we have written here if a this is not a condition we have written only if a so compiler will check what is the value of a so here value of a is minus 4 so this will become if minus 4 and this is not 0 so it will execute s part remember this if this bracket evaluates to 0 then only your compiler will execute else part in remaining all cases it will execute if part so here this minus 4 a is minus 4 this becomes a minus 4 which is non-zero so it will execute else part if a is equal to 4 print f else now if you check here by mistake most of the student goes to the else part and we forget this semicolon remember this what we do is generally if condition statement else statement after condition we don't give any semicolon here semicolon is given what we think it is maybe by mistake it may be a by mistake by the company or the operator or the typer who typed this program or this question but my dear student this semicolon is given compulsory so if your, st if your statement becomes here now here your statement becomes if a is equal to 4 semicolon that means we don't want to execute any statement 
for if part this printf become regular statement and for this else it won't find any if so this will generate error misplaced else error try this whenever there is a if uh, there is a else this previous statement must be if and here the previous statement is the printf so it will generate error because this if ends here only so in this case it won't execute the program this will give here semicolon because of the semicolon this will give error as a misplaced else error now this is a good question generally when we learn c programming if else in class or in college or in university generally we study that in condition we use only one relational operator like a is greater than b n1 is greater than n2 amount is less than 1000 like this we never learn or we never come across multiple relational operators within a condition so generally when this type of questions occurs generally either student gives it is as a error because we cannot use multiple relational operators or student try to solve it directly but my dear students it won't solve it like this generally what we consider that if a is greater than b greater than c we consider here 4 is greater than 3 greater 4 is greater than 3 greater than we put value of a b c and we consider okay this 4 is greater than 3 yes 3 is greater than 1 yes so all conditions should be satisfied so we go with else but this case is not there how our compiler evaluates this check this okay so value of a is 4 then b and then c so first of all it evaluates this 4 is greater than 3 yes condition is satisfied and this will return 1 if condition is satisfied it will return 1 if condition is not satisfied it will return 0 and now this becomes 1 is greater than 1 no it is equal to 1 so this will return 0 and our statement becomes now if zero print a else print a and as we discussed in previous uh, slides when this evaluates to zero it always goes to execute else part so here this will execute no remember this it won't evaluate like this 4 is greater than 3 yes 3 is greater than 1 yes condition is satisfied it will go to yes no 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 Here, first of all, it will execute this. Four is greater than three. Yes, condition is satisfied. So it returns one, and this one is compared with this. One is greater than one. No, it is equal to one. Here, one is equal to one. This is not greater than. So this will return zero, and the zero gets compared here. Remember that this is very tricky question. Okay. Now here, a is equal to one if minus minus a. Now minus minus a it decrements value of a. if it is a minus minus it uses value of a and then it decrements by 1 if it is minus minus a first of all it decrements value of a and then it uses value of a this is how it operates now here we have if minus minus a and value of a is 1 so first of all it decrements it a becomes 0 because of decrementation and then it becomes here a if a which is a 0 so it will execute this no if it was like this a minus minus then it becomes if a now a is 1 it compares if a is 1 yes it will execute print if statement and then it will decrement value of a as 0 which is not here this is minus minus a so first of all it decrements value of a by 1 a becomes 0 and then it compare into the if remember this So these are the simple examples we are, which I am considering here. A is equal to one. A is equal to print f slash and welcome. Now here, as in my previous videos, I explained you print f statement displays the information and it returns one value. So in this case, here first of all it will execute this print f statement. So it will display welcome and this will return value eight, seven characters and backslash n is also considered as a one character. i have already discussed this in previous videos so value of a becomes 8 and this will become now if 8 which is non zero so this will print now yes and it will come here it will give you 
a is equal to 8. So first of all, this printf statement will be executed. This will print welcome. Then this printf statement returns value 8 because 8 characters are printed. Actually, it prints 7 characters and backslash n is considered as a 1 character. Okay. Then that it returns value 8. Printf statement returns value 8. So this is given to a. a becomes 8. And this is compared in if, which is a non-zero. So this will print yes. And then it will come here. It will print a is equal to 8. Here, check this. Here we are printing. We are not printing anything. So it won't print anything. And it will return value of a as 0. And this becomes if 0. This print after it doesn't print anything. Double quote, double quotes continuous. It won't print anything. So this printf statement will return 0. It becomes a is equal to 0. So this will, sorry, this will print no. And then it will print a is equal to 0. Double quote, double quote continuous. So we are not printing anything. We have not printed anything. So this printf statement returns 0. So value of a becomes 0. So this becomes if 0. And whenever it is a 0, compulsory it will go to execute else part. It will print no. And then it will print a is equal to so this is about few questions, tricky questions you can say. Some tricky questions are there. These are the tricky questions which I feel to make a video. So you just go through this video two, three times. Then you will get the proper knowledge of how if statement, if else statement gets executed. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. If you have not yet subscribed the channel, please subscribe the channel and click on like button so that you will get the further videos whenever I upload the video. Thank you. Thank you very much.